There are literally thousands of engines out there which have been built from ingenuity, hard work, and perseverance. Many of these engines are not even shown on the internet, and some of the best builds are easily overlooked. So this video just shows some of the newer ones, and it's a small sample of what really is out there. So let's get started with the top 10 countdown. Ron Kona is yet another builder who has made many interesting builds including a V8 flathead, a quarter scale Navi V8, and a hit and miss engine. His scaled Cirrus Mark 1 adds to this list, and was derived by drawings made by Dubal Online. It runs on Glow Ignition, and it basically lubricates and passes the fuel through the crank case before passing through the combustion chamber. It has a 3 quarter inch stroke, and it maxes out at around 6,000 RPM. At number 9, the scaled V16. There is a fairly unknown channel called V12 Factory, which is pretty much a gold mine when it comes to homemade builds. His V16, along with the RC car, is an incredible build, and it's a scaled model of the 1936 Auto Union Type C racing car. This particular 1 to 3 model runs on methanol, nitro, and oil. It is water cooled with a central overhead camshaft and it's complementary to the scaled RC vehicle. Once again, the same creator has tackled on other projects, including a V2, a one cylinder, and other replica models. We move on to the V12 Merlin, and one of the most iconic engines of this cylinder size was used in both the Spitfire and P51 Mustang in World War II. Terry Mayhew, aka the Master, tackled on a scaled version, and just like many of his other engines, this one is equally impressive. Once again, everything was made by hand, including the block castings and machine crankshaft. So it took a lot of hours, expertise, and problem solving. He basically showed step by step on how to build this particular engine on the forum. And he has ran the Merlin at around 2000 RPM with some minor glitches. I also recommend to check out his YouTube channel because he's still building things to this day with very detailed tutorials. That's number 7, the paper radio. Remember that one person who created the mini paper engine? Well, now he has built a working radio, which was quite a bit of a challenge to say the least. This particular design has the rods directly connected to the crankshaft, and a slipway was used to correct and maintain the distance for each cylinder during assembly. The end result is one incredible mini radio, possibly the smallest in the world which can actually run on air. He clocked it in at over 8000 RPM, which is pretty impressive for something made out of paper. That's number 6, the Napier Deltic. Now this is a prime example of an incredible older build, which might be overlooked. It's an 18 cylinder 2 stroke, which consists of 3 banks of 6 cylinders connected together in a triangular configuration. Each cylinder has 2 opposed pistons, so there are actually 3 crankshafts and 36 pistons. Glenn Tomlinson actually built this engine back in 2003, and he basically used AutoCAD along with CNC machinery to produce this one-of-a-kind beast. Now the engine supposedly resides at the Craftsmanship Museum in California, but unfortunately I have not found any videos of it actually running. That's number 5, the Organic V12. Sculptor Eric Van Hove has a talent for making engines out of random things. His replica Mercedes V12 is no exception, and it's built with hand-forged components consisting of bone, wood, fossils, and 50 other materials. He pretty much bought a real working V12, stripped it apart, and rebuilt this custom model out of 465 parts. It roughly took 9 months and a lot of collaboration, but the end result is truly one of a kind. The same creator has also built gearboxes and an 18 liter D9. So once again, I highly recommend to check out the links in my description for more detailed builds. At number 4, the 18 cylinder radio. This is derived from the iconic R2800 double wasp, used in multiple aircraft in World War II. Now John Ram was one of the first to actually build this two row 18 cylinder engine derived from the plans provided from Ageless Engines. But a newer and just as good build was revealed by Detroit Engine Works. 
The radio was machined and built by Heller Davis, and it features a 6.7 to 1 compression along with a 15.9 cubic inch displacement. The total unit measures in at around 11 by 12 inches. It ultimately took 1100 hours of build time, and it stands out as one of the most impressive homemade radio engines. Now we move on to the next position, and there are many turbines out there on YouTube, but this is definitely one of the most impressive. Built by Andy, many of the parts were created by milling and churning, but a few components were retrofitted as well. He has also shared a breakdown of the entire build on a forum, so it gives you a really good framework of how to actually build this type of thing. The thrust is not exactly known just yet, as it's still a work in progress, but he has tested the afterburner at around 45,000 RPM. I guess you can claim this as a mini F-35 engine, but either way, it's great for waking up the neighborhood. That's number two, the Babbage Differential Engine. Now Charles Babbage had many far out and brilliant ideas. His difference engine was first designed in the 1820s, and it's basically one giant mechanical calculator designed to tabulate polynomial functions. It only uses addition and it removes the need for multiplication and division. Numbers 0 to 9 are represented by gear wheels. And if a wheel comes to rest in a position between whole numbers, it's regarded as indeterminate and the machine purposely stops. Now the answer is ultimately pressed into a plaster and it is impossible to print the wrong answer, which is pretty incredible for a 200 year old design. Now he did build a smaller machine, but some recent and very large variants have been built by various museums. These are based on his original designs. Now unfortunately these machines cannot play video games, but ironically they are probably worth more than any silicon computer out there. At number one, the W32. Jose Barrio, or Patello, has built some of the most amazing engines of all time. His W32 is right up there, and even though it does run on air, it replicates the movement of every piece in a combustion engine. Over 850 pieces and 630 fasteners were used for this particular build, and each piston has a 10 millimeter stroke along with a 47 cubic centimeter displacement. All this amounts to an engine which took over 2500 hours to build, but Patalo has recently revealed some other neat projects including a drone and a 9 cylinder radial engine. So once again, I hope that video was fun to watch, please like it if you enjoyed it, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel.